the guy that works the door also does the show, which is weird. It's all for everyone involved. Um, that being said, I'm just going to do a few house announcements and I bring up your host for this evening. Uh, if, you, if you could at this point please silence your cell phones. If you have not done that yet, I'll just check that. So if you need to make a phone call, it's an emergency. We understand it's, not, it's a little bit cold out, but just please go outside so you don't hear about the rest of the show. Um, so you can keep going and you can have a good time. That being said, keep it, like you're doing right now, just keep your table talk down so that you don't hear about the show or the room is the people around you. Other than that, keep your laughter to a maximum, have a great time. And that being said, you guys ready for your host for this evening? Yeah. You may see him on America's Got Talent. He's been in a couple movies. He's been a big man of comedy. Put your hands together for Akeem Coombs, everyone. What's up, y'all? Get up for your, uh, your headline at Todd Riley's. Over he introduced the host, but I was supposed to introduce him, so it's, it's going to be an awkward night. <laughs> but we all know we are came here to see, and he's coming up right after me, so I'm going to introduce him as soon as I'm finished. And y'all going to give him a great, great, great Washington Redskin applause. <laughs> y'all see these houses out here? Do, do all the Redskins? Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, it's not the Redskins, it's the Commanders. Yeah. You know I'm from New York. Yeah. Redskins. Yeah. They lost, oh, oh, you're New York? Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I, I thought you was Commander fans. You, you know, making a mockery of the losing Giants. Who had their butts whipped by the Eagles. Butts whipped! Hey, Tom. Can you this? <laughs> 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 My voice destroyed the speaker. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got. Okay, let's let's restart. Let's restart. Okay. Uh, on my way here from New York, I stopped at a Wendy's. And um, I was in the lobby, and a gentleman with no teeth approached me, no front teeth. And he says, you're not from here, are you? I said, no, I'm not. He said, I tell you what, you better not go to Frederick's, Maryland at nighttime. Because the women there will beat you up, take your money, and knock out your teeth. <laughs> is that true? I'm not familiar with Frederick. Is it, is it that rough? This happened, this happened to me. I, I, I had to ask him, I said, that, like, like it did you. He says, no, I lost my front teeth at King's Dominion Ride. Is that true? Can you lose your teeth at King's Dominion? I don't know. I've never been there. Anyway, all right, all right enough about the lovely area. I, um, No, we stood there, hold on, let's finish. We stood there shaking our heads, looking at each other. And he said, wait a minute, I know who you are. I recognize you. You're that comedian Sinbad. He said, my mother loves you. We be watching you in the woods and I shed your rerun. I said, nah, man, I'm not Sinbad. I'm young Sinbad, like young Sheldon. Like Young Rock. You mess with me, I mess with you back. But like Todd said, uh, I was on America's Got Talent. But I lost. That's why I'm here. I lost to a dog. Real talk, I lost to a dog. And he messed up five times and still beat me. <laughs> that ruined my TV career. Basically, the only job I could get after that was being a, a typecast big stormtrooper in non-essential Star Wars shows. But that didn't even work. 
because they don't make uniforms for big guys, so the butt plate wouldn't stay on. So if y'all watch a Star Wars show and you see a stormtrooper with jeans on him, that's me. They gave me messed up lines too. Messed up lines. Obi-Wan, stop, or I shoot. Obi-Wan, stop, or I rip my jeans. Oh, you wouldn't stop. That's what happened with the Oh man, you can't have physical comedy, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm a big, big guy, a big, tall guy. It's not easy being big and tall at the same time. You know it's not. Because I can't stand next to any door in America without random people walking up to me and hand me their IDs for no reason at all. <laughs> Real talk. One guy walked up to me and handed me his ID. I'm like, what is this, man? What is this? He says, my ID. Aren't you the bouncer? I'm like, nah, man, this is a Starbucks. Walk in. <laughs> Starbucks will be having no bouncers. He said, should I have my ID back? No. <laughs> now I know where you live. Keep your joke number one. I used to work for Grubhub, but they fired me because I was eating everybody fries. <laughs> You must be walking up to you, grub up. You look at your bag, you look at me, you look at your bag. You're like, where are my fries? I ate them, is that a problem? I'm like, no, I thought so. She's just drinking her drink, said, hell no, you ain't gonna eat my fries. You try it, see what happens. I used to be 400 pounds, yeah. Now I'm down to 280. Thank you. For that, you know, I was on a weight loss journey, but that journey was halted by Popeye's chicken sandwiches. <laughs> Can you imagine just three years ago, you were fighting over toilet tissue and chicken sandwiches? We have come a long way. <laughs> now there ain't gonna be no more chicken sandwiches because the chickens are going extinct for some reason because the eggs are $8.99 at damn Walmart. <laughs> Soon, if you drop an egg, you're gonna get fined. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I understand the gas price is going up because of the Ukra Ukraine war, but what are they doing in Ukraine? Killing all the chickens? <laughs> What's going on? Soon they're gonna be $10. That was just a public service announcement. <laughs> Because I was on 400 pounds when I was, I had a hard time catching a Uber. Because they thought I was going to break these shops or something. They wouldn't stop for me. They canceled their trip when they see me when I was that size. So I don't know about y'all. But I had to resort to, um, it's no Christmas. <laughs> I had to sneak up to get my Uber. I'm in. In your car. You can't cancel me now. I was so big I had to lean up and talk to the driver. How you doing? He says, you know what? You need an Uber XL just for you. I got that. And that driver said to me, where's the rest of your party? This is for four people or more. I said, according to Jim Blue, I am four people. They charged me for a whole world. Can you believe that? But it backfired because when the plane got crowded, I charged people to sit on my lap. <laughs> I'm, I'm, four, I'm four seats. Anybody want to test that theory? No. I know my lap is more comfortable than them damn lawn chairs you're sitting in. <laughs> None of your ladies want to try my lap for half price, for free. Damn, I get no free lap dance tonight. Okay. <laughs> Creepy joke number two. I'm from Harlem, New York. And um, we got a new celebrity residence in Harlem now. Former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is now staying in the projects. 
Because now he knows good chicks don't snitch. <laughs> that usually works a lot better because there's a lot of angry, cold, haters. But I guess there's some supporters here tonight, so that didn't go over quite well. But now he has a theme song when he walks into the club. Shaggy's It Wasn't Me. <laughs> I know the song. They say I touched her butt, it wasn't me. And you know it wasn't me. They say I touched her butt, it wasn't me. And you know it wasn't me. I was thinking about touching somebody's rhythm, but I didn't want to get in trouble again. <laughs> I told you I knew the song. It almost was on Acorns, I'm locked up. I'm locked up. I'm locked up. <laughs> yeah, this is the hip hop part of the show. Y'all gonna have y'all gonna have your other two comedians bring it back to the to the conservative, to the liberal part of the show. I'm the hip hop version. You're getting three three versions. Yo, look, this whole table looks like the same. What the hell are you doing? We don't want to hear no Akon. We don't want to hear no Shaggy. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all, y'all want to hear Carrie Underwood, right? <laughs> Katy Perry. No. Taylor Swift. No. Lady Gaga. No. I'm, I'm trying to find out what they want to hear. Oh, I know who but y'all want to hear. Y'all want to hear Shania Twain. Yeah. All right. No, I got it. <laughs> I wish I did. No, it's an Eminem song. I got some Tupac. How about Tupac? Yeah. One, two, three. Hell Mary. One quick C. What do we got here now? Ride a dog. But um, my kids think I look like a 
certain celebrity. You know, that's why I can't wear purple around him. <laughs> they think I'm barking in a dinosaur. <laughs> and they want me to sing the I Love You song with different variations. But they like, they're Generation Z. So they like trap drill version. I love you. You love me. We want big happy family. Percocet. They like the encore. Did I sing you the encore that makes them go to sleep? Would y'all like to hear that? And this is it. This is the hip hop trap drill. Barney be up on that prolific scene. And he be holding up that cup of that codeine. And he be rocking on the gangster lean. And he be chilling with his boy Hakeem. And we be looking at the women with them tight jeans. And we be hypnotizing the ladies with our high beams. And we be knocking out the drug dealers and dope fiends. Kids, don't do drugs. I'm Aki Poon. Now, get ready for the man after me, the brother of Rob Snyder. He looks just like the slimmer brother of Rob Snyder. You got Paul Snyder. Let's go. Oh, Paul, tell him that I'll be on um, CBS this fall. If they like my shirts, you go get it. I'll be on CBS. That's a product replacement for merch. I'm sorry. Here you go, Greg guys. All right, you guys having a good time so far? All right, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I, I know a lot of you guys that are here tonight. And uh, when I invited you all, it seemed like a good idea at the time. You know, just, but uh, there are so many people that have known me for years that I'm afraid if I have jokes with too much innuendo, somebody is going to call my mom. Uh, that is what is happening. But um, it, is, it, is, it is fun to be back up here in Northern Virginia. Uh, last night I was in Iowa, South Carolina.